Hello students, today we will try to learn about the preparation of solutions and basics of weight and measurement. Let's try to understand the important concepts. First, molecular weight. It is the sum of the atomic weights of all the atoms in a molecule. That is its molecular weight. For example, molecular weight of H2SO4 is 98. Since it contains the two hydrogen, so that is 2 for sulfur it is 32 and for, for oxygen it is 64. The sum total of all this that is 98. The second concept that is percent solution. Weight by volume. 1% solution of a substance contain 1 gram of the substance in 100 ml of the solvent. So if I ask you to prepare 5% solution of sodium chloride then you are supposed to take 5 gram of sodium chloride in 100 ml of distilled water. Next that is percent solution volume by volume. 1% solution of a substance contain 1 ml of the substance in 100 ml of the solvent. So in that case one has to take the solute in ml. Suppose you want to prepare H2SO4 solution 1%, 2%. In that case you are supposed to take the H2SO4 in liquid. So in that case percent solution is volume by volume. The next concept is molar solution. One molar solution of a substance contains one mole or one gram molecular weight of the substance in one liter of the solution. That is, one molar NOH contains 40 gram NOH in one liter solution. Next, a normal solution. Normal solution of a substance contain one equivalent or one gram equivalent weight of the substance in one liter of a solution. That is molecular weight divided by the hydrogen equivalent of the substance. So one normal H2SO4 contains 49 gram H2SO4 in one liter of solution. Molecular weight of H2SO4 is 98. So two hydrogen it contains so that's why we divide it by 2 so H2SO4 one normal solution contains 49 gram of H2SO4. What is buffer? Buffer is any solution which resists the change in pH. A solution containing both a weak acid and its conjugate weak base whose pH changes only slightly in the addition of acid or alkali. Next let's try to understand about the concept of solution. Solution is a uniform mixture of two or more substances. It is made up of solute and solvent. Solute is the substance which is dissolved by solvent is the substance in which solute dissolves to form solution. There are different types of solutions. First a reagent solutions. Solutions that is used in combination with sample to produce a considerable change, it is called a reagent solution. Staining solutions. Staining solutions are the solutions that contain colored acidic basic or neutral dyes. It is used to impart color to biological specimen. For example, positive staining uses crystal violet solution to visualize microorganism. Same way we are using saffronin solution. Another solution that is a standard solution. Such solution contain precisely non concentration of the chemical substances. It is used for quantitative analysis. It is used to know the concentration of the same substance from unknown solution. Analytical grade chemicals are used to prepare such solutions. For preparing standard we need to prepare a standard solution. You may, you may be very well aware about the certain experiments in which we are supposed to estimate a solutes like protein estimation. In that case we need to prepare a standard solution of protein. Buffer solution. It resists the change in pH. 
it is a mixture of weak acid or base and one of one of its salt for example phosphate buffer glycine noh buffer next that is the concentration of solution different concentration of the solutions are prepared in different forms for example molarity molality percentage weight by volume percentage weight by weight first molarity that is the number of moles of solute per liter of solution molality that is the number of moles of solute per kg of a solvent percentage weight by volume that is weight in grams of solute per 100 ml of solution percentage weight by weight that is weight in grams of solute per 100 gram of solution next that is a unit of length 1 micron that is equal to 1 micrometer that is equals to 1 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter that is equals to 1 into 10 raised to power 3 nanometer that is equals to 1 into 10 raised to power 4 angstrom so 1 angstrom is equals to 0.1 nanometer so 1 nanometer that is 10 angstrom next there is conversion unit of temperature you may be very well aware that the temperature can be measured in different units it may be fahrenheit kelvin or degree celsius so we need to convert the temperature in fahrenheit from the degree celsius so these are the different formulas for the same to convert degree celsius into fahrenheit we need to multiply it by 1.8 then add the 32 similarly different conversions are listed on the slide you can see very well units of radioactivity that is curie that quantity of radioactive substance in which 3.7 into 10 raised to power 10 atoms disintegrated per seconds that is denoted by ci same way baccarat is also another unit of the radioactivity there are si units of the masses kilogram that is a multiple of gram 10 to the power 3 gram that is denoted by small g milligram that is equals to 10 to minus 3 gram microgram that is equals to 10 to minus 6 gram nanogram that is equals to 10 raised to minus 9 gram picogram that is equals to 10 raised to minus 12 gram that's all about the today's talk thank you very much